you know, we had a young team um, with only one senior and Brooke Tolman that played a lot and, uh, you know, with a, a young group but uh, had gained some experience the year before. And I thought we made great strides uh, from the year, year before. I thought we were much more competitive. Um, we played uh, sharper, um, competed well, and did a very good job. Uh, to finish third in the GNAC is quite an accomplishment in such a great league. Um, sure, we'd like to win a couple more and finish a little bit higher, but overall, it's a really uh, good season. Awesome, awesome. The senior class was really great this year. Um, Brooke Tolman and Ashley Reed. Can you comment on their leadership and what they have meant to the program? Yeah, they both did a very good job with the leadership. Uh, you know, Ashley uh, was able to play this year, and that was a tough deal, but I uh, appreciate her input into our season. Um, Brooke, uh, I thought, had her best season yet for us. Um, she really uh, provided a lot of leadership. Uh, she worked hard at that uh, to communicate with her uh, teammates and, and just uh, was very uh, motivating and, and positive with them and did a great job. Uh, she also played very well. Uh, she uh, had a consistent season. She competed so hard. She got a little bit bruised up uh, towards the end of the season, uh, missed a game or two because of injury, but then came back and played very well in, in the uh, tournament game and against SPU. That's great. Bobby Knudsen had another big year receiving all-conference and all-American honors and currently ranking sixth all-time in assists and twelfth all-time in points. How special is it to have a player of her caliber in the program? Well, it's really a special thing. Uh, she's a very special player. Uh, she does so many things on the court. Uh, she protects the basketball. Uh, I think she uh, became a better leader this year. She's one that likes to lead by example, and she, so it's, it's kind of out of her realm to, to be a loud type of person, but I thought she we needed her to do that a little bit more, and I thought she did that. Uh, the best part of it is that she still has another year uh, left, but she uh, has the ability to both score and uh, dish the ball, and, and a lot of times she creates double teams and, and finds the open player. Uh, I think she was a, one of the top assist person in the nation as well as being able to score. So she's a great competitor, a very humble person. I think uh, that goes a long ways, and uh, we're just fortunate to have her. That's really cool. The team was very young this year as well, according to their class. How do you feel they developed throughout the year? You know, I think they matured a lot. Uh, I mean, we were young a year ago as well. Um, so it's it's the second year of that, but I just saw a lot more maturity in the way that they played um, with our, a lot of our sophomores and, and juniors as well. And I think, uh, you know, the future is bright there uh, with another strong class coming back. Uh, we should have a lot of experience on the court, but again, I was really proud of the way Brooke played for us this year as a senior. And um, we don't really get too much into the, the youth of it. I mean, it's 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 the game, and, and you have to rise to the expectations. Uh, but uh, I think there's a, you know, we, we had a good season, but there's a little bit of unfinished business. And I think uh, in the off season, hopefully we'll put in the time to, to come back in the fall and be that much better. Great. There were a lot of high points during the season. Nine game winning streak, including your exhibition matches, victories over Division One opponent uh, Montana State University, and the defending GNAC champion Alaska Anchorage. How does it feel to have those special moments after all the hard work that the team has put in? Well, was, like you said, there were some uh, great victories. Uh, you know, it's kind of a journey more than just one thing there. When I think back of it, I, I, I see lots of positives and not just whether it was a big win or a tough loss. I mean, we, we had all of those. Uh, we struggled a little bit uh, at late. late. Our, our league is so, so difficult to try. Sometimes the, uh, you know, the, the schedule sets where you might have a little bit of a slump whether you want to or not. So you're going to have to just kind of keep plugging away. But uh, uh, we did play very well in December. Got off to a, you know, a good month. Had a good month there. Uh, it was really neat to uh, go over to Bozeman and, and beat a good Bobcat team in a, in a close game that came down to the end. Um, but our league is, you know, it might be Division Two in name, but there's so many really good teams. And so it was nice to uh, beat Anchorage. It's been a while since we've done that. We had some other big wins, but our league was still loaded. And we just couldn't quite get over the hump against uh, Western Washington and Simon Fraser, who were both great teams and actually went on to play in both the league championship and then also the, 
the uh, regional championship. So, um, you know, good season overall. Though. Definitely. Um, the team had some tough conference losses, but finished third in the GNAC at the end of the season. Can you tell me how competitive the conference is uh, year in and year out? I can't imagine that there's a better uh, league top to bottom. I mean, the top six teams that all qualified for the GNAC were very close. Uh, we finished third. Um, we were one game out ahead of the sixth place, and if we would have, uh, you know, lost our last game, we would have been sixth. And there just really was was not any advantage there between three through six. So those teams were just that close, and they either either of them could beat each other on any any given night. So uh, I think that again next year it'll be similar. Uh, it's just there's a lot of talent. Uh, the other coaches I think do a great job. And, uh, there's just great players in this league. And, and we look forward to the future, but uh, it was nice to, uh, on the final weekend of the season, we needed to win two road games to finish third, and that's very difficult in our league, but we were able to play very well and get a big win at NNU and then come back at Central and win, so to get third was quite an accomplishment. That is really cool. After the team had a successful first half of the season, the team suffered several setbacks during the second half, but managed to finish strong. How were you able Well, we just did our, our regular thing, uh, had good leadership, that's the first thing, had great assistant coaches that worked hard, um, you know, like you said, I didn't feel, we, we did lose, uh, I think it was four games in a row towards the end, but, you know, a couple of them were home games against uh, Western Washington and Simon Frazier, were both ranked in the top ten nationally, and we definitely wanted to uh, beat them, we just couldn't quite get it done, and we had a a couple uh, tough road losses. Uh, one of them was at SPU that, again, the balance of the league. So just the way the schedule works, if you're not careful, I mean, it's easy to drop two or three in a row here. And, and you really, uh, you just have to kind of regroup and stay positive and, and move on, maybe make an adjustment or two, but uh, don't doubt yourself. And we eventually did, did come out of that. I think next year's team will be a little bit deeper. Um, and I think that, we need that uh, because of the travel and some of the, and the great teams in this league. I thought have a little bit more depth, and if we can establish more depth next year, I think we'll be even tougher. You received both team and individual awards for your merits on and off the court. Can you comment on the type of student athletes you have in the program? Well, we have a, you know, I think it's just a very high character uh, student athlete. Uh, they do a very good job in the classroom. Um, I think our GPA first semester was approximately 3.5. Expecting them to do another great semester right now at the end of this one. Um, we've been up, so they, they understand that they are here to get an education. Uh, I don't have uh, character problems. I mean, I, I just feel very fortunate to work with them on a daily basis. Uh, they truly care about each other, and, and I think they care about their uh, school and their community. So their families can be very proud of them. You're always recruiting, uh, you know, whether it's for the next, this coming fall, if there's a little bit to do there, or, you know, even starting to look at juniors and, and the year after, um, kind of having postseason meetings with players and, and getting organized and then doing some fall, I mean, excuse me, spring uh, weights and conditioning. Um, the finals comes up pretty fast, so um, in the late April, uh, that will hit, and then the players will go home for the summer. Some are local, some are not. We have high expectations for them to what they need to do during the summer to get better. And uh, we'll come back uh, in September and get started with school and, and another year. That's really good. What can we expect from the women's basketball team in 2013? Well, I think, uh, you know, we're, we're going to hopefully take another move forward. I think we, uh, we have a great returning group of players. I think they're motivated. Uh, they know that they can compete at the top of this uh, tough league. And I think we're going to add a few new pieces to the puzzle uh, to, like I said, to improve that depth. And I think our talent level is going to be extremely well. you got to hope for a little luck, whether it's a close game here or there. Uh, we want to try to stay injury-free, those type of things you can't control. But um, I think we have 